Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here with Custom PC Review, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Accelero Extreme 7970 by Arctic Cooling. So um, this is the newest GPU cooler uh, to come out from Arctic Cooling. It also happens to be one of the most powerful uh, air cooling solutions for our aftermarket uh, GPU air cooling solutions on the market. Um, there aren't very many manufacturers of this and Arctic Cooling happens to be one of them and this happens to be probably one of the best. So um, as you can see right there in the picture, it's got three 92 millimeter PWM fans. So um, definitely a lot of performance out of this thing. Not very man many manufacturers make something like this. Um, you've also got a six year warranty. So um, definitely you've got a long time before uh, you're, you're gonna need to replace this. And Arctic Cooling have has been making uh, coolers like this for a while. Um, I know they have the uh, older Arctic Cooling Accelerator Extreme Plus 2. They also have just the regular Accelerator Extreme and so on and so on. So uh, with this one, pretty similar to the older ones, it's got this 300 watt uh, max cooling capacity. Uh, you've got six uh, six millimeter heat pipes. You got five of them running through the entire length of the cooler. So um, it's definitely going to be extremely powerful. So uh, right there, you've got that back plate and uh, we'll first check out some of the accessories uh, before we actually check out the actual cooler itself. So um, you can see right there, we've got a lot of VRM heat sinks. Um, you know, it, it's pretty. It pretty much has compatibility for almost uh, every kind of high, higher end video card out there. Um, you know, right there, you've got that uh, power connector for the fans, and uh, just a lot of accessories. There, you've got the thermal glue. I believe on this one, you 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 use a thermal glue by um, mixing those two packets together, and that uh, creates like a sticky compound that you can kind of paste on all your VRMs, and then you can stick those um, VRM pieces on. So we'll try to take out some of the VRM uh, coolers or heat sinks to show you guys, and um, it kind of seemed like they're stuck in there, so. We'll put that aside for now, and uh, we'll kind of take a look at the actual heatsink itself. So we've got those three 92 millimeter fans on there, and um, pretty nice looking. They're you know got that white look to it. Um, Accelero Extreme 7970 right there. So this is definitely going to fit your H, uh, HD 7970. It's going to fit your HD 7950, and um, Right there, you can kind of see the heat pipes along with all the fins. You've got, uh, like I said, you've got five six millimeter heat pipes. So as you can see right there, it's it's running all the way across the entire length of the cooler, and um, it's just gonna create a lot of cooling performance. So uh, right there, you can see those uh, PWM connectors right there. And along the bottom there, you also get some Arctic Cooling MX4 Thermal Compound, which is absolutely fantastic stuff. Great heat transfers. And um, that is pretty much it. So full review, definitely coming up soon. Going to be in the description box as soon as it's ready. And I just want to thank Arctic Cooling for sending this out for review. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs up as it does help us out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.